attention, ladies and gentlemen. Well, now that I have your attention, I'll be your resident film nerd. I'm producer John Marr. Let's break down what's premiering this Friday. You guys never heard of the White Pine Slaughter? The what? All right, someone woke up and chose violence today. It's your latest slasher film, In a Violent Nature. Emphasis on nature here, as it looks like the entire film takes place in the woods. The plot is when a locket is removed from a collapsed fire tower in the woods that entombs a rotting corpse of Johnny, not me. And Johnny just happens to be a spirit spurred on by a horrific 60-year-old crime. He's resurrected and becomes hell-bent on retrieving said locket. This film promises to be very gory, and I didn't see a rating for it, but uh, let's just assume that it's rated for a mature audience. Ooh, that, that had to hurt. A man, Ezra, flying without a net so that he could order himself a... Ice tea, please. <laughs> Next, we have something completely different, Ezra. This movie looks endearing like a little tug on the heart. <laughs> the doctor who first told me my son was autistic could have saved us both a lot of time if he just said the truth. Autistic kids don't give up. Comedian Max co-parents his autistic son Ezra with his ex-wife Jenna. Faced with a crucial decision about Ezra's future, Max and Ezra go on a life-changing road trip. This film was directed by Tony Goldwyn, who you might know from The Last Samurai, Oppenheimer, the popular TV show Scandal, and of course, you'll recognize Robert De Niro and Rose Byrne in the trailer there. This film was inspired by the screenwriter's experiences as a father raising a son with autism. This film is rated R for language, some sexual references, and drug use. God! If you love westerns, this one's for you. The Dead Don't Hurt. It's about two pioneers fighting for their lives and their love on the American frontier during the Civil War. This film was written and directed by Viggo Mortensen. He's no stranger to westerns or gun violence, as he starred in films like Hildago, Appaloosa, History of Violence. Most notably, you'll recognize Viggo from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, where he played one of the main characters, Aragorn. This film is rated R for violence, some sexuality, and language. Welcome to our first ever camp reunion! Wow, this is incredible. <laughs> also airing this weekend, oh Summer Camp. Basically the plot is three childhood best friends spend every summer at a sleepaway camp together. Now after years when the opportunity presents itself for them to get back together and reunite at the summer camp, they seize the opportunity. It's rated PG-13, but this seems like a family friendly movie overall. And it has a stellar cast, including Kathy Bates, Diane Keaton, Eugene Levy, Alfred Woodward, and of course, Josh Peck. <laughs> Anime lovers, get excited. Haikyuu, the dumpster battle, you didn't hear me wrong, is coming to the big screen. It's a new feature film based on the manga. The movie focuses on Purasuno High Volleyball Team as they advance past the preliminary round at Harutaka Tournament in Miyagi Prefecture. This movie is rated PG-13. That's it for this weekend's movie premieres. May kicked off the summer blockbuster season with some ups and downs, but keep watching SA Live because next week we're gonna break down what's premiering and streaming for the month of June. I'm producer John with SA Live. Have a fun weekend at the movies.